هذا القرآن يوحدنا لطريق الخير يوجهنا الله تعالى يا جماعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> ألم يأنن الذين آمنوا وأن تخشى قلوبهم لذكر الله وما نزل من الحق ولا يكونوا كالذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبل فطال عليهم الأمد فقست قلوبهم وكثير منهم فاسقون صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله ما respected elders and brothers الله سبحانه وتعالى had blessed us with this month this month which is full of blessings and it is the month where we should have gone close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the one of the meanings of Ramadan is something which burns it means it's supposed to burn our bad desires it's supposed to burn our bad traits and our bad characters and cleanse our hearts so we we can become close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah mentions in the Quran, Illa man atallaha bi qalbin salim, that to reach Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to present yourself in front of Him, you need a clean heart on the day of judgment. So Allah gives us different opportunities in our lifetime when we are young and we come of age where we hold responsible from that time until we reach our deathbed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us numerous opportunities to turn back towards him and make a connection with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and especially this month of ramadan that we have it is one of those months where allah makes it easy for us allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he imprisons the strong shayateen and the leaders of the shayateen so it is easier for his beloved servants to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now most of us may have made a timetable in this month where we would have a connection with the Quran but now let it not be such that by having a khatam of the Quran we we finish or we khatam our connection with the Quran our connection with the Quran should remain Allah has mentioned in the Quran, Alam Yaanin in Ladina Amanu and Taksha Akulubuhum Lidikiri Lahi Wama Naza Wama Nazala min al Haq. That has the time not come for the believers, that their hearts become subservient to what Allah has revealed from the truth. Wala Yakunu Kaladina Utul Kitaba min Kabulu Fatala Alehim ul Amadu Fakasat Kulubuhum. And Allah is saying, Do not wait for next Ramadan. Do not wait for when you perform your Eid. Do not wait for when you have to perform your Hajj. Do not wait for next Jumu'ah. Do not stop. Why? Because don't be like the people before you. That when time passed over them, their hearts became hard. And it became hard for them, hard for them to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has given us numerous opportunities. In our, in our Ramadan, maybe we shed a tear for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe we did something to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But now let it become such like Allah has mentioned in the Quran. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu dkhulu fissil mikafah wa la tattabi'u khutuwaat shaytan That all believers enter into Islam completely. The moment we said la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah. Like today it has been mentioned that illa alladheena amanu wa amilu salih. It is not just enough to believe in Allah. It is also enough, it's also compulsory to accompany this belief with action. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given us this beautiful month and we listened to some Quran in the Taraweeh. But now let's make it such that we understand the Quran and we become like those people who inculcate the characters that have been mentioned in the Quran. Become of those people that have sabr in their life. Become of those people that have courage. Become of those people that have taqwa in their life. Become of those people that have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our lives. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to become such I will not prolong my speech because my elders are sitting Mufti Shu'ib and Mufti Arshad Sab and inshallah they will explain in detail but I will this was just a few reminder so that we know what to do and it's a reminder first of all for myself and for the rest of us because only a few days of Ramadan are left 
This is the moment Allah has made it easy for us. Let's make the most of these days and whatever we have not done in the previous days, let's make it happen in the last few days. Ameen wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.